I'm just waiting. I'm here by myself. That's why, you know, it's uh, Monday night live stream. Just chilling, just chilling, hanging out by my lonesome. What up, Steven? What's going on, folks? I see y'all popping up in here. I see y'all. How y'all doing? How you doing? Good to see you today. Hey, how, how you doing? I see you right there. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Oh, welcome. You're new to the channel. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you here. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Hold on. I'm fooling right now. I'm fooling. Give me a minute. I got to get some stuff situated right now. I got to get some stuff situated. Happy Monday to all my beautiful peoples around the world. Hope y'all had a great weekend. I'm back in town. I am back home. This is the first video that I filmed in days. And it feels weird. It feels weird. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> What's going on? Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to get some stuff organized here. Let's see here. What we got? What we got? Boom. Hmm. There we go. Boom. Doing that too. All right. All right. I think I'm about ready for this party. I think I'm about ready. So with that being said, what up, AOK Mafia? It's your boy, Arden Kicks, and just like that, we back with another one. All right, y'all, so like I said, your boy is back in town. I went on a little trip over the weekend to Texas for KamehameHaCon. For those that don't know what that is, that's a Dragon Ball Z convention, just like Dragon Con, you know, anime weekend, whatever. Y'all know, y'all know the cons they be having out there. KamehameHaCon is Dragon Ball Z lovers, Dragon Ball Z lovers, so... I went out there, had a good time. I was only gone for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, came back today. But I felt like I was out there for a whole week. And everybody that I went with said the same thing. It's like, yo, this didn't feel like a weekend trip. Feel like we was out here forever, dog. But yo, it was a good time. It was a good time. Vlog coming tomorrow. I got to edit it up. I got to edit it up. Um, I did a live stream vlog. Um, I got, you know, Karenized a couple of times in that video. If y'all want to check it out, it's on the channel. I posted that uh, yesterday, but hey, yeah, we in here, baby. We is in here, and we was about to get this party started, y'all. We late. I'm about an hour late to this live stream. I do apologize, but hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, so before we get into this, real quick, I don't know if you guys have noticed, um, but there's something weird going on with YouTube right now. A lot of big channels are having these bots that are coming in, excuse me, and trying to scam. They're trying to scam folks. They're posing as the content creator, so you guys be on the lookout. Just know that if it doesn't have the check mark, if it's if it's supposed to be me in the comment section and it doesn't have the check mark next to the name, it ain't me. <laughs> it's not me. You know what I'm saying? The, the verified check mark. And on top of that, just know I'm not trying to sell you or get you guys to buy no cryptocurrency. Nope, not, not that at all. I'm not trying to, if I don't talk about it in my video and you see a weird comment and it says pinned by Artie Kicks and that's their actual name, that's not me. <laughs> that is not me. They're using my profile picture. It's a bunch of channels getting hit with it. It's a bunch of channels getting hit with it. Just know if we're not talking about it in the video, then it probably ain't us. It probably ain't us. So don't pay that mess no attention, y'all. We're going we to knock these scammers on up out of here. You understand me? Understood? Good. Good. So, first video here. This got a chills video, baby. So, y'all chill. Gosh, just chill. It's just chills. This is top 10 scary videos that'll give you an uneasy feeling. Well, that ain't good because I just had some ice cream and um, I don't need no uneasy feelings, if you know what I mean. That boys girls ready? I'm ready. Let's go. I hope you're sitting down and are ready for these scary videos because they'll give you a big uneasy feeling. I saw a doll. I'm not ready. Number 10. In this video published on Luck. Nope. Seen this 50 11 times. Y'all got to go click the link in the original. The, the, what? 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 You got to go click the link down in the description box below if you want to see this clip for yourself. Mm -mm, not looking at that again. Nope. Not me. Not me. This ain't the same video, right? From the manager to enter the nope same clip gotta keep going keep it going 
This is a relatively long clip here. What's this? And is supposed to be the happiest place on earth. And gratefully, it is exactly that for millions of kids and families alike all around the world, thanks to the exciting ah, this must be Disney World rides, the food, and lovable mascots that you can see scattered all throughout the park. It's truly got something for everybody. But sometimes Disneyland can be utterly terrifying. Disneyland, my bad. That's the one in the Florida, I guess. Mm -hmm. In this old he's trying so hard to be calm he's like hey I'm, i gotta be professional i got work to do here whoa whoa this this ride is just throwing me all over the place i can't i can't write right he's trying so hard to be professional we really he's scared he's like oh what's gonna happen next oh what, what's that over there old black and white video we can apparently see a disneyland ride inspector riding on the tower of terror and all seems to be going well until this happens King, King Chapter. Did you New see Melbourne. it? If you didn't, I honestly don't blame you because it happened so fast that if you blinked, you may have missed it. But by slowing down the footage, you'll be able to make out what appears to be a ghostly woman dressed in white suddenly appearing behind oh, the ride. Oh snap! Y'all see that? Before disappearing entirely just a second later. I know this ride is called the Tower of Terror, but this is definitely not a part of the ride. Especially seeing as how it appears in the seating area of the ride rather on the screen ahead of the man This video is why she blink in there like that. That's kind of weird proof that even the happiest places on earth can be absolutely terrifying no. I don't know about that one number eight this mysterious YouTube video seemingly was filmed from some sort of hidden camera tucked away in what appears to be a laundry room. We can see a young boy walk in and it seems like he is picking up clothes, perhaps taking them out of the drying machine. So far so good. Who would expect going to do such a simple task like taking out the laundry could turn into something utterly terrifying. Like what? This kid certainly didn't. This is definitely the kind of clip where you don't even need to have audio to understand just how scared the person in the video truly is. Upon hearing this object clash to the floor, the kid in the video immediately jumps and turns his head around in shock. <laughs> Amazingly though, this doesn't scare the kid enough to stop doing the laundry <coughs> because he carries right on. But only seconds <laughs> later, the door- I would have ran if I was him. ...closes all by itself, leaving the kid surrounded by the darkness. You see, kid? You should have ran. Look. Now you locked in his room. Luckily, he is able to run out of the building, and the footage abruptly ends right there. Some people have questioned why there was even a camera in this laundry room in the first place. Great question. I usually be questioning that too. Like, why was there a camera there in the first place? Which is certainly a good question, but even still, this video is one that. I know why. I figured it out. People be in there stealing other people's clothes after it, it, it get done drying. That would be a good reason, especially in a place like this. This is like, what was this, India or something? I think he said in the beginning. Yeah, it's a possibility that other folks be stealing people's clothes, man. That is sure to leave you feeling uncomfortable. Number seven. For some reason, a lot of us humans love to play these strange ritualistic games. No. Particularly at night, with the main purpose of summoning some sort of creepy creature or terrifying figure. No. One of the most popular of the bunch is the Bloody Mary game, where you say her name three times in the mirror, and she is no. supposed to appear right behind you. Or there is also Charlie Charlie, but I can honestly say that I have never once heard of the Catalina Catalina game until it was demonstrated in this YouTube video by Zagan Paranormal. The game involves some sort of strange doll, but because this video was filmed in a foreign country, I can't make out what they are saying. Good. So if you are able to translate, please let me know what they are saying. Nonetheless, the video shows two girls talking to the doll and for a long while nothing happens. We may have seen this clip before, but after close to 3,000 uploads, my memory is getting very foggy.
But then something shocking and utterly horrifying happens that honestly took me quite off guard. The two girls finish their ritual and seem to be waiting for something to happen. And if that's what they were waiting for, then they definitely got their wish. All of a sudden, without warning, the doll in question starts to move its hands around a bit, which causes the two friends to scream before the video abrupt- Nah, nah, nah. That doll didn't just move his hands, move his head too. Look at the head. The head moves too. in question, sir. Oh, heck, nope, nope. Just burn the whole house down. Nope, nope. Not me. I couldn't be there. I got chills going down my spine or up one of them. It's to move its hands around a bit, which causes the two friends to scream before the video abruptly shuts off. In nombre del demonio, manifiestate hoy aquí y en este día. En nombre del demonio, manifiestate hoy aquí y en este día. Two Spanish ladies chanting some ritual at the exact same time. Never good. <laughs> there is definitely something authentic and quite terrifying about the way these two girls scream. <laughs> it's the kind of piercing sound that I don't think is even possible to fake, even if you tried your hardest. Then again, I could be wrong, and this could have been set up, but I'm willing to bet against that. What do you think? Is this real or is this fake? Let me know your opinion in the comments. Sid, how's it going? Going great. Thank you for the $5 dollars do Kimberly K, I see you in here, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Monique, she don't say nothing. She just leave money and dip out. She just be gone. I don't even know if she be watching the reaction, man. She just, she's mysterious, that one, I, I swear. She's very mysterious. Number Thanks, sweetheart. Six, if you have not heard the story of Sylvia Likens, then you should... Likens, that sounds like a werewolf. Probably keep it that way. Her story is so upsetting and the details are so deranged that I honestly cannot go into the full story here. I feel like I'm familiar with this one. But long story short, Likens had her life taken by her caregiver. Oh, yeah, I'm familiar. Y'all can click the link down in the description box below after the live stream if y'all want to check this one out for yourself. I ain't watching it again. Nope, not me. Sorry! What's this? Numero cinco. Trying to ignore. Ah, no. Um, it's kind of just like the, uh, it's pretty much what we use as the guest room and the room that we store shit, you know? Watch the language, boy. This, this window is where it happens. What happened? This YouTuber says that his bedroom window is not like most bedroom windows and that every once in a while, depending on the time of the day and depending on which angle he is looking at, something extremely weird will appear in it. You'll see like a figure in the room. Sell the house. And there'll, there'll be no one in here. Sell the house. And I'm going to try and demonstrate that today. This phenomenon. Demonstrate after you sell the house. Going on is so fascinating and bizarre for this YouTuber that he decides to take his video camera outside with him to see if he is able to capture this happening in real time. So you ain't gonna tell your folks to leave the house? You just gonna let them stay in there as figures pop up in the window? Okay. Selfish. And sure enough, he does. <sighs> A figure can sometimes be seen outside of the window. Sometimes? Okay. okay let's see today. Sell the house. Upon seeing this creepy looking figure standing inside of his window, the uploader sounds both shocked as well as amused. He says that sometimes this figure will not appear whereas on some days it will. And it just so happened to turn out that this day it decided to show itself. Well, there's actually a figure today. I actually put it no way. No, you caught it on a potato because I could barely tell what I'm looking at, boy. Although it may be fascinating. It is also quite unsettling, and I hope that the uploader tries to look into- Look, he caught a potato on the potato with a potato. All I see is a potato. Y'all see that? What is that? Is that a potato in the window? This for is that Mr. Potato Head? They're there by hiring some sort of paranormal investigator before it's too late. Who knows just how evil this spirit is. Y'all, we got 3,500- Y'all, we got 1,300 people in the live stream, baby. Big baby! It could have some seriously bad intentions and the uploader would never know. Number four, working out and lifting weights is something that a lot of people do on a daily basis. Oh, heck now, nah. look, now I'm ashamed of myself. I'm ashamed of myself now, look. Look at this mess. This ghost is over here working out in the afterlife. 
And I'm still alive and I can't get rid of this belly. I am still alive and I can't get rid of this belly. And this ghost is working. Ghost putting me to shame. He got a bottle, a water bottle. Or is that a Pepsi? I don't know, but he drank it because it's empty. Y'all, I'm ashamed right now because the, the reason I was late for this live stream is because I went to Dairy Queen and I got ice cream. Priorities are all jacked up right now. This ghost is putting me to shame over here working out and I'm eating out. I'm going to do better tomorrow. I'm going to do better. In order to put up. There's a leg day for this ghost too. Look at him. Get He killing it. Some more muscles and generally staying in good, healthy shape. Get Going it. to the gym is never supposed to turn into something incredibly creepy. Get it. Gains, baby. Gains. But Rizwan Mogul definitely captured something of Look. that nature. Look at him. Going to his local gym to get a workout in. Just by looking at the machine in the video. Gains! It certainly doesn't look like a machine that could have been used minutes ago by somebody else. No, it's being used right now. Big muscles. Ghost spirit. Causing it to move around like that. Look at that. Gains! Yeah, baby. Get them gains. By all accounts, it looks like this machine is being operated by some sort of unseen presence. But sadly, there is no deep backstory to this video, so details regarding it are pretty scarce. If this is a real piece of footage, then it just goes to show that even ghosts like to get a good workout in during their day. That's right, baby. That's right. No, Matt Harrison. Ice cream is good for the spirit. It ain't good for you. I'm lactose intolerant. My body's gonna be hating me tomorrow. Look at this. His, his ghost is putting the whole gym to shame, man. No. That ghost was on there longer than anybody else could. Number three, JNC Fishing is a channel that was probably intended to upload fishing related videos as the title suggests. Tell me about it. But strangely enough, it only has one video on the entire channel and it is the one that you are watching right now. The video, which was uploaded in March of 2019, depicts the channel owner as he is sitting outside and getting comfortable in front of a campfire. Little did he know that such a relaxing activity could turn into something heart pounding. The man is simply sitting down and relaxing at this campfire when all of a sudden he hears some terrifying noises that are seemingly coming from a little bit off in the distance. This man posted one video to YouTube, got so scared he never posts another video. There, there goes your, your fishing channel. Y'all yeah, might want to go find out what's wrong with that lady. Wait, I thought I heard a woman's voice scream followed by some wolves. Poor lady. It is clear to me that at least a few of these noises are nothing more than coyotes howling. Or coyotes, I don't know, I can never tell the difference. But if you listen closely, you can tell that there are additional sounds that are coming from outside that do not sound like any sort of animal whatsoever. The uploader states in the description of the upload. I mean, he is in nature. That he is convinced that it is none other than the elusive Bigfoot. How, how is he convinced that it's Bigfoot? Junk sound like dogs in the woods, sound like wood dogs, sound like coyotes and wolves and stuff. Ain't nobody in history ever documented a Bigfoot sounding like a coyote. How are you convinced? Did you see it? Did you see some footprints? Did you see a big ape-like creature in the in the woods? What makes you convinced? Do you know what a Bigfoot sounds like? Which does not seem too far-fetched considering just how terrifying and unpredictable our world truly is. Number two, Lee Boggs and his friend are both sitting in his attic after hearing some strange noises coming from inside of it just 10 minutes prior to the recording of this video. Understandably confused and a little bit creeped out, the, 
to proceed to head inside just to see if they can find the source of the noise. As the video goes on, the two friends can be seen sitting quietly in the attic, slowly but surely trying to provoke any potential spirits in the area to show themselves. Lee's friend then asks what its name is. Me no like addicts. Me no like an addict. And to show itself. And we're up here because we heard some noises earlier. So you went up there to, nope, not me, nope. And we're trying to figure out if we can catch a little bit more. Okay. I heard you up here last night, make a noise. Which eventually causes this to happen. Stop hiding and show yourself. Not even a few seconds later, a strange ghostly mist seems to manifest itself into the attic and disappears just as quickly, causing Lee and his friend to both be absolutely shocked and creeped right out. Stop hiding and show yourself. Give us a sign. What the was that? Lee is definitely the one that is the most creeped out stating that they should stop filming and get out of the attic immediately before anything more sinister can happen. Gratefully, it seems like both Lee and his friend were able to get out of the attic relatively soon after and are what was that? perfectly fine, but it still makes you wonder what exactly this strange ghostly mist was. We may never know. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like the Shannon Hooper, thank you so much. New channel member, Iris, new channel member, thank you so much. We in here, baby. Playful noise. Thank you for the $5. Don't know, sweetheart. Aaron Clark, good to see you up in here, brother. Thank you for the don't know. James Caught on Tape says that he has been hearing some extremely creepy noises coming from somewhere on his property for quite a while now that have been making him quite uncomfortable. This is Andrew. I have... I haven't actually introduced him yet, but, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, what? But, uh, what? Oh, there he is, there he is. You hear that? Well, these noises of it. Boy, you better get up out of there. You play too much. Actually went away on their own. He says... Go away on the out now. Nah, that on the night of July 23rd, 2011, the noises came back again, but this time, a friend of his. That's right, baby. Flat, flat. I said flat. Fat lies do matter. His name, Andrew, was over at his house at the time of the incident. He says that Andrew is a complete skeptic and doesn't believe anything paranormal. But after that night, even Andrew starts to question his beliefs. Here's what they found Eric refused to come back out after our last experience so we've been following this noise back eric is smart that's what it sounded like to me he said eric refused to come back out after their last experience sounds like eric is smart eric and i have a lot in common i wouldn't go back out there either here nope not me nope you can hear it. yeah i hear it i ain't fooling with that mess look Creatures and animals that make that type of sound ain't nothing to play with. I have been on every square foot of my property and never seen this before. Upon seeing this terrifying... Oh, we've seen this. We've seen that before. Yeah, y'all remember that from the last video? Anyway, y'all, I will be shouting out everybody that caught merch over the weekend while I was gone. I'm going to shout you guys out at the end of the live stream and for everybody that's copping during the live stream tonight. I'm going to be shouting you guys out as well. And people that's donating through Cash App, PayPal, I'm going to be shouting you guys out. I appreciate y'all so freaking much. Lord knows I spent a lot at this convention and I need to um, recuperate my funds. I got a lot of work to do in this week so I can get my monies back. But anyway. On to the next video. Video. Y'all, these videos are long, man. That was the shortest one. We got two more. Both of them exceed 20 minutes. Uh, Y'all ready for this? Y'all, this next video is... The following recordings for the... Mysterious videos. Too scary to watch. Long shout out to my guy, Sir Spooks. 
King Frostmare. My brain is on autopilot, not working too well. King Frostmare. TV. I was home alone and this happened. Oh! The following recordings were documented by user Domadius. The young man just moved into a new apartment and states that recently. Did this man just close his door with his hand? Pretty unusual events started unfolding. Doors moving by themselves and noises out of nowhere. This night, he started to film these encounters. In particular, the bathroom seems to be a really curious room. Anybody in here? Something looks vaguely familiar. Hello? Hello? I swear you did. Yep, seen that clip before. Is this the same video? Is this the same video from last Monday or Friday? I don't know, but I, may, I definitely remember that video clip. I don't remember that. We just go watch it. Hey, st please stop, spirits. Please. I definitely remember that. This fool is asking spirits to stop as if that's how they operate. Spirits don't do what you say. They're spiritual. I'm actually, like, honestly scared to go check right now because what if something's like... Please stop. Please. But one of them... What is the spirit trying to tell him? That he needs to do his laundry? I don't know. Most terrifying encounters was just about to unfold when Domadius woke up the same night and yet again heard some strange noises from the bathroom. The following unfold. Oh yeah, he got this big black figure just standing there. Hold it. And he just sits there in his bed and just watches like... Hello? Look at that. Look at that. He's just standing there watching him. And he's just recording it on the little iPhone thingy. Look at it. It went away. Now he gets up to go look. And it's gone. Look at it. Idiot. How you just gonna sit there and record that thing like that? I hope it gets you. There was something standing in front of the closet. Big dummy. People believe that it was a negative shadow entity that likes to play tricks on him in there. How creepy. The following capture was found by user Noodlepoots. Noodle Poots! <laughs> I like that name, Noodle Poots. And he felt the need to share it in the paranormal section. He got Something looks vaguely familiar about this patio, this back porch. He got a strange motion alert by his Nest camera that sent him a really eerie preview image. Ah! You guys! I want to skim through this video because I feel like this might be the same video from last week because I definitely remember that part. Wait, I don't remember this. Yep, this is the same video. I do apologize. I make up for it. I shall make up for it with this next video. Next! Yeah! Yeah, top five scary videos that will make your daddy leave home. That's messed up, man. That, you, look, fathers, you got to stay at home. Now. You can't just leave your kids like that now. Ryan, big $200 dono, bro. I ain't seen a big one like that in a minute. Thank you, brother. We got over 2,000 people in the live stream. Let's get it. Top five ghosts call on camera. on camera. The Magnolia Hotel. The Magnolia Hotel in Seguin, Texas is said to be extremely haunted by multiple ghosts. Oh, really? The hotel was built in 1840, and over its 180 year history, many people have passed away and. You'll never catch me at a hotel with pictures like that on the wall. You know it's haunted. Inside its walls. Look at that picture. That picture looks haunted. Some even taking their own lives. Nope. The current owners of the hotel, Jim and Aaron Getty, claim to have experienced intense paranormal activity while living there. Tell me about and it. Many of the hotel guests have captured ghostly images of spirits that haunt the hotel. One of the most active spirits in the hotel is said to be that of a 12-year-old girl named Emma. 
Hey, Oddly I'm enough, Emma never even stayed in the Magnolia Hotel. But the man who violently took her life did live there. In 1874, a man named Wilhelm Faust horribly ended little Emma's life using an axe. Wilhelm was still staying at the Magnolia Hotel when he was caught and executed for his crime. It is said that both the angry spirit of Wilhelm and the gentle child ghost Emma are both forever trapped inside the Magnolia Hotel. Oh, hey, Paranormal no. investigators Colin and Peyton from the YouTube channel The Paranormal Files travel to the Magnolia Hotel to do an investigation at the allegedly haunted inn. They experience something truly bizarre. Nah, nah. They look like they in some weird stuff. Send that thing next to whistle in here. Yeah, Ghost yeah, got gun. Yeah, she low key look freaked out. She trying to play it cool, but she's shivering and shaking right now. I promise you that. That 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 sounded like a gun. That was that ghost had a gun. That's a gun. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yeah, it was. Somebody tried to shoot a ghost. Oh, they missed him. <laughs> literally right there. They hear the unexplained sounds of knocking and possible gunfire while exploring the hotel rooms. Bang bang. However, it's what they didn't hear at the time that is absolutely chilling. Sit down for a second, too, before we go to the unfinished part. Kill the lights. Yeah. Guys, I know. I know it's kind of boring. Guys, I know. I know it's kind of boring. Mommy. The voice of what sounds like a young girl can be heard saying the eerie word, Mommy. Mommy. Now, if that wasn't creepy enough, the owners of the Magnolia Hotel actually caught what they believe to be the same young girl, little Emma on one of their static cameras. The camera is set up in the room where the ghost of Emma has reportedly been seen and heard the most. They call it the quote, children's room. What? Shout out to all my channel members. I see y'all in here. What's going on with y'all? What up, Christopher? One day they leave a bunch of balls and toys for Emma to play with. Thank you, Mark. And then this happens. Oh, look at Rish. What is that? Y'all, my chair sinking. Why is my chair going down? What was that? Balls on the floor mysteriously seem to just start rolling around on their own. What's the most bizarre about this footage is the strange shadow figure that follows right after the unexplained movement. Could it be that the spirit of little Emma is playing with the toys? Is the Magnolia Hotel haunted by the ghosts of the people who lost their lives inside its walls? Let me know what you think down in the comments. You can watch Colin and Peyton's entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, The Paranormal Files. And you can find more spooky evidence and photos over on the Magnolia Hotel's Facebook page. Viewer videos. Magnolia Hotel, huh? Okay. In this next segment, I'm very happy to feature some extremely creepy videos that were sent to me directly via email by Nukes Top 5 viewers. First up, this video was sent in by Dex, who claims that one of his friends has been going on apartment viewings in the hopes of finding a new place to live. His friend recorded one of the empty apartments so he could look back at the footage later to help him decide. When he reviews his footage, he is shocked by what he finds. I better be apartment that he doesn't get. Yo, this place look run down and raggedy. Did you see it? While recording, Dex's friend thinks he's 
sees something out of the corner of his eye. A dark shadow. Like figure standing at the end of the hallway. But when he pans back, nothing there. You know what? It's a possibility that his mind played tricks on him and he thought that he saw something down this hallway but there was never ever there was never anything there so what he did was go back later on and add this just to give like himself some something you know what i'm saying he's like yo i thought i saw something there oh i guess i was wrong there was never anything there when i look at the shot both times there's nothing there let me go ahead and add something here I want to put what I thought I saw there. That's a possibility. Or maybe this is what he actually saw. Maybe this is actually there. So did Dex's friend capture a ghost on camera? And could it be that the apartment is empty for a reason? I leave it up to you. If he bought that apartment, then I bet you that wasn't there. You to decide. This next video was emailed to me by Connor from Corpus Christi, Texas. In his email, he explains that his cousin is awakened in the middle of the night when a stranger suddenly approaches his ring doorbell. The doorbell camera records a stink. Ding dong. Let's take a very hey, I got that doorbell. creepy turn. Dang, fool. You don't gotta ring it more than once. Stop, dude. Please stop, bro. Hey guys, I swear to you, all my life, I swear I mean you no harm. Oh heck, nah, y'all. He he means harm. He means harm. When they say that, they mean harm. Get ready. You gotta get ready. You gotta open up the door like this. What you want, fool? Get out my door. Go. Leave my house. Get off my porch. Get off my land. Get off my property. Go step your butt back over there where you belong. You you need to leave right now. He means harm. No, please, I need you know. Yes, you do. Stop lying. The dog even know. You can see it in his eyes. He's over there like, look, I don't mean you no harm. Yes, you do. Uh, dog, uh, can, can you please come outside and let me know I'm alive? Let me. Bro, you're alive. You're right there. You're talking. Your eyes are bloodshot red. What you been doing? What you been up to? What drug you on? What you been drinking? I don't know what this is. You alive, fool. And you know you alive, stupid. I don't, I don't know what's going on. You, I, uh, clearly, you don't know what's going on. None of us know what's going on. No, God. I'm going to live. I'm going to live. Please. That's all we want is for you to leave. Get off the property. That's fine. Because someone's in there. You just can't make somebody be in. I just left this state. What the heck going on out there, man? Guys, please come outside, please. Don't do it. He means harm. I promise you, he means harm. Oh, no, I'm not dead. He said, oh, no, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. No, you're not. You're alive and, and stupid. I'm not dead. Did you really need somebody at a random house to tell you that you was not dead? I'm pretty sure any car that you walked past, you could have saw yourself in the reflection of the glass and saw that you was not dead. You know what he is? He's brain dead. That's what he is. I don't know what he been on, but he, he ain't there. Y'all got 2,500 people in the live stream. Big, big, big. Shout out to the people on the website copy merchandise. I'm gonna shout y'all out at the end of the live stream. Don't help him. Don't help him. 
The man who rang the doorbell is odd and erratic as he pleads for them to open the door and let him inside. Understandably, they don't answer the door, and the man eventually walks away defeated, loudly yelling, I'm not dead. You know what's interesting? He knew that doorbell had a camera on it. That's pretty cool. Connor's cousin has no idea what happened to the man. And the scary event... They never saw him again. He got arrested down the street and took to the station. That's what happened. Remains a mystery. But I guess some chemical substances were probably involved. Definitely something was involved to get this man acting like this. I don't know what it was. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Visits to the funeral home. Chinese ghost hunter and popular live streamer Xiao Long is back with another scary adventure at a creepy abandoned funeral home in Jinjiao City, China. Local legend says that restless souls unable to move on after their deaths have found themselves trapped inside the funeral home, eternally doomed to haunt the lonely abandoned building forever. Speaking of funeral homes, I got a funeral to go to this weekend for my boy Brad. And um, this is going to be tough. This is going to be real tough. I'm not ready. I am not ready. Locals say the home is cursed. But as always, none of that stops our boy Xiao Long. He travels to the abandoned funeral home completely alone. As he's exploring outside the building, he stumbles upon an old abandoned hearse that was once used to transport bodies. What happens next is truly bizarre. A lot of vans and SUVs of today have these little devices right here called remote controls where you can press the, the latch, the button right here for the, the, the rear latch and, and open and close the rear latch, the rear trunk. They could be using a remote control to open and close this thing. I mean, come on now. No cap though, this does seem like an older vehicle that may not have this type of technology. But at the same time, this fool's Asian. They're in Asia. They can make shift that stuff like that. They created that mess. <laughs> Shaolong fans love the creepy live stream and demand that he return to the haunted funeral home for yet another visit. As always, he broadcasts his investigation live as he explores a different area of the building. As you might suspect, it did not go well. Joanne, you are more than welcome. You are more than welcome. I'm so glad I could do these live streams for you guys. Thank y'all all for hanging out with us. We've got about 2,700 people in here right now. And thank you for the donor. I love when he says that F your mother <laughs> F your mother This fool's always cursing It'd be funny <laughs> better get out You better get out F you <laughs> <laughs> this man be the only one out here cursing that ghost. But that's that's what their belief is. Their religious belief when it comes to the, the spiritual realm is that if you swear at them, then they have to go away. So he'd be like, F you! F your mother! I'm like, dang, he... Dang, what... Why you gotta bring the ghost mom into this, man? Like, what did the mom do? Other than have the fool. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. 
so scared, but you walking up on it, stupid. Go the other way. <laughs> F you. <laughs> F your mother. <laughs> Shaolin is horrified when he discovers that the area was actually used to store human bodies. For shizzles. Even though he's starting to freak out a bit, he returns to the crematorium carrying what he says is a protective amulet. He finds an old oven and... We got some birthday people in here. Happy birthday to the birthday people up in here, big baby. That's when he sees something absolutely horrifying. Let me see. Whoa! That scared the fart out of me. I'll be in there screaming with him. A terrifying pale face seems to rise up through the oven's air vent and then disappears back into the darkness. Could this be one of the souls that are said to be trapped inside the funeral home? I leave it to you to decide. You can watch this entire exploration and many more creepy videos over on Shaolong's YouTube channel, Outdoor Shaolong. I like him. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok user Michael says that he started experiencing terrifying paranormal activity in his home after he played around with a Ouija board at a friend's house. He says that he believes that he might have accidentally summoned a demonic entity that followed him home. See, look, that's what you get. That's what you get now. Look, that's why you can't be doing that stuff. Ghost hunt probably ain't gonna happen in my life ever because I ain't trying to bring nothing back home with me now. Look, oh, yeah, um, excuse me for those that heard that slip. You know what I'm saying? But, um, nope, not me. In an attempt to record himself and explain what's been going on, He's interrupted by something. He look big scared. He look big scared. And very creepy. Bro, you got a spider tattoo on the back of your hand. You shouldn't be scared of nothing. So I've had a... Nah, he looks scared. A lot of weird stuff been happening lately, and I, I can't... <laughs> Who said hello? Hello? No, you said it back. That's, that's big A mistake. child's voice can be heard. Yet, Michael claims he has no children. I was about to say. He says he doesn't know where the mysterious voice could have possibly come from. So, Michael decides to set up static cameras all around his home in the hopes of capturing more proof of the paranormal activity that has been terrorizing him. When he looks back at the footage from his kitchen camera, he's shocked. What the what? Oh, wait, there's two cats. Look, man, he ain't got no girl, he ain't got no kids, but he got two cats, bro. What you doing, dog? What you doing? He's shocked. Yeah, the cat didn't do that. The cat did not do that. I was watching very closely. The cat had that much space between him and the basket. They're investigating. They're like, yo, why this basket jump at me like this? Yep. See, that's messed up. That's messed up. That's messed up. Neither one of them did that. They're investigating. They ain't touch it. That basket threw itself at that little kitty cat. Meow. You see that? That basket launched up at the cat. This ghost don't like cats either. Not that I don't like cats. I'm just saying. This is messed up. I think the ghost is like, bro, I'm trying to help you out, man. You, we got to get rid of these cats because they're going to cop block you. You, you. you need a girl. I had a little voice that was like a little kid said hello because you need a little kid in your life that's going to really say hello to you. So we going to get rid of these cats, you know what I'm saying? So you can better your chance at finding a woman and settling down. What I, you see that? The, the ghost trying to take the cat out. I know you saw that. Look, the ghost trying to take the cat out. The ghost trying to tell you something, man. Get rid of these cats. It don't look right. It's okay to have one cat, but not you know, after that, you become the cat lady, but you the cat man. You know what I'm saying? You're too young, bro. You're like about 23, 24, 5 at the, at the most. You know what I'm saying? Go get your girlfriend out there, man. You're like a decent enough guy. You got your own home. Got your ish together. 
But you got too many cats. The ghost trying to tell you. You need to take one out. Poor that ghost ain't playing by that cat. Michael and his girlfriend Heather decide to do. Oh, he got a girlfriend. My bad. Sorry, Heather. You know, I love you. You know, I mean, he loves you. I mean, them your cats, right? My bad. Another Ouija. I'm just gonna shut up. Board session. This time to try to get answers as to what is going on. I remember her now. But things take a terrifying turn. H. E. Spelling Heather. R. R. Never mind. E. Here we are. Here. Told you. Told you. You didn't do it right. You didn't do it right. You gotta end it. You gotta end it, or you, or you screwed. Oh my god! Oh look, see, look, that's what you get. Look what I tell you last time you did this mess. What I t do you not remember what I told you last time? Now you don't want to play the game no more. What the heck did you think was gonna happen? You did it for a reason. You played the little Ouija game so that you could summon something to show itself. Why else play it, right? You wanted something to happen, right? Well, something happened and you got scared, right? Wrong. That's dumb. You don't get scared. You keep playing. Oh, I don't want to play no more. What? You shouldn't have never played in the first place then, Heather. With the cats. The <laughs> burn it down. Just burn the whole house. Just let it burn the whole house. I'm, not, I'm look. Don't take it serious now. I'm just here to entertain you, fools. No. I don't know. Uh-uh. Hold on, hold on. Yep. Yep. Time to go. Sell it. Sell the whole house. With the ghost, too. Be like, hey, look. I'm going to let you know this house is honey. I'm going to take 50 grand off just because it's honey. The value of it is about 300000 but I'm going to sell it to you for a quarter million because it got a ghost in there. I'm going to let you deal with it. I hope you like ghosts. Is he a good neighbor? He just might keep you up at night. Is that serious? Oh my God. Oh. Yep. Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. Something violently crashes to the ground right next to Heather. Burn it. And then they both hear a loud sound coming from upstairs. Burn it down. When they look up the staircase, someone or something that they can't see comes charging down the stairs at them. Burn it down. So is Michael's house haunted by a demonic entity? Yep. Drop your thoughts down in the comments. Burn it down. That's my thoughts. I just gave you my thoughts. I just gave it to you. There. I don't even need to put it in the comment section no more. I need to burn the house down. What? That whole video looked legit. They had a ghost running down the stairs, gave me chills in the back of my neck. I use a Roche Bananas is working the night shift as a Roche Bananas, I like that name. Security guard on a reservation in Saskatchewan, Canada, when she and her co-worker see something very strange. When we work night security 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. and we see something coming at us at midnight. <laughs> oh yeah, no mames, no mames. Fast forward it, because we've seen that mess before. Hey, look a rich. It's of Culiacan in Sinaloa, Mexico, know of the story of Lupita, the eternal bride. The story goes that back in the early 1950s, a young woman named Lupita was engaged to be married to her childhood sweetheart, Jesus. The bride-to-be and her fiancé were both friends with a man named Ernesto, who was hopelessly in love with Lupita. But Lupita had no romantic interest at all in Ernesto. Ernesto was driven mad by his jealousy, and on the wedding day, he took the life of Lupita's husband-to-be as she watched on in horror. Ernesto then took his own life. Lupita was so traumatized by the event that she never recovered and just completely lost touch with reality. Ooh. Every Sunday for the next 30 years, Lupita would dress in her wedding gown and walk to the church cathedral in town. After her death in 1982, she was buried and it is said that she aimlessly roams the cemetery grounds, still in her wedding dress to this day. That's crazy, man. That was that was supposed to be the love of her life. She was so caught up in the fantasy of the happily ever after with that man that she didn't even try to get into another relationship. 
every Sunday she would dress up in that wedding gown and just, wow, that's crazy. A paranormal investigator from Mexico who happens to share the name Ernesto from the YouTube channel Zona Paranormal Veracruz is joined by his friends and fellow investigators El Payaso de la Toledo and Lorena Jacobo. Together they explore the cemetery late at night. They hear strange unexplained sounds all around them and then this happens. Hey. Hola. Como te llamas? Muéstrate, Lupita. Show yourself. Pido que te muestres. Ya te vi. Show yourself, Lupita. Ya jalaste energía. Oh, sí, hey, no. Yo me llamo René. <gasps> no mames. A la madre. Payaso, 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 payaso. Yo, that ahí, güey. Ahí, ahí, ahí se asomó. That fool sound like somebody grabbed him by the testes. You heard him? Watch. Right here, right here. That's why you had to tell her that. Why why'd you have to tell her that? You just put a real big fat target on your back, Ernesto. He said, my name is Ernesto, like the man that killed your husband. Really? Really? She might seek revenge on your dumb ass. Y ahí se asomó. Yo me llamo Ernesto, como el, 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 que, el que asesinó a tu esposo. Así... Not the brightest. No, not the brightest at all. Se llamaba el que asesinó a tu esposo. Estás enojada porque me llamo como él. No que. Death Knight, new channel member. Thank you, big baby. Boy. <laughs> Dang, I ain't never been scared by a cough before. Wait a minute, COVID. Voy a ver, voy a ver si se quepó. Ahí va. De lado, pues. A ver. A ver. De lado. Ay, ay, payaso. Espérame, 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 espérame. El bote. Espérame, 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 espérame. Espérame, ay, güey. Ay, Ernesto, cabeza, güey. You know somebody's scared when they keep repeating the same thing over and over again. It's like they don't even know what else to do. Ernesto is broadcasting live on Facebook when he spots someone appear and disappear near one of the graves. They hurry over to investigate, but Ernesto gets stuck in between two tombs. In a shocking turn, Ernesto feels someone or something pulling him back. And then, did you see it? Yes, I right did. Behind Payaso, another mysterious apparition can be seen lurking behind the tomb. Told now, again, this is a live stream broadcast. The figure is spotted by the viewing audience, but the two investigators are completely unaware of what. That's crazy. This is a live stream. They've just captured. They continue their exploration. Oh, that, that... Yo, that fool moved in slow motion, bro. This, if this really is a live stream, yo, this is crazy. Because that did not move naturally at all. And it looked transparent. Look at that. That is not natural. Payaso caminó aquí enfrente, güey. Caminó aquí enfrente, güey. Caminó aquí enfrente, cabrón. La agarré, la agarré, la agarré, la agarré, la agarré, la agarré. La agarré, la agarré, la agarré, la agarré. La agarré, la agarré, la agarré. La agarré, güey, la agarré, la agarré. Ay, 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 ay. La rodilla, la rodilla, güey. La rodilla, la rodilla. Lore. Oh, that's his knee. I'm like, yo, who keep grabbing this man by the testes? He, uh, he got a bad knee. Oh man, I feel bad, dog. He's like, I ain't my knee. 
la rodilla, la rodilla, güey. La rodilla, la rodilla. Lore, vamos a ver a Lore, güey. Vamos a buscar a Lore. Va, vamos, vamos a buscarla. Lore, sigue mandando saludos. Sí. Yo, she got, she got some big cojones if she over here by herself or these two fools running over here complaining about their knees and stuff. They over here getting old. She over here like, look, I got this. I got that hair on my chest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look over here by myself. If the ghosts get me, I'm not scared. I got God. Estás mandando, estás en vivo todavía. Ahí está Lorena y está en vivo, señores. Lo, lo que vimos, vimos a la novia. La agarramos. See, look, she ain't like these fools. She said, yeah, I saw her too. But did y'all hear her scream? Nope, these fools were screaming. Hey! Es que, es que dicen que, que me puede seguir porque yo me llamo como el que mató a su esposo. Me jalaron la mochila. Había un lugar donde, donde no cabía. Y me jalaron la mochila. A ver, les voy a enfocar para que vean que Lore sigue en línea. Aquí estoy yo. A ver, miren. Aquí estoy. Lore sigue en vivo. The guy see an apparition that appears to be wearing a long white dress. They quickly go to find fellow investigator Lorena, who's broadcasting her own live stream in a different area of the cemetery. She explains that she too saw the figure of what appeared to be Lupita, the lonely bride. Now, as I mentioned, this stream was live, so it would be very hard to fake. But what do you think? Let me know down below. You can check out more of Ernesto's creepy live streams over on his YouTube channel, Zona Paranormal Veracruz. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram here, Twitter here, or hey, look at that. It's a TikTok. Eh. Anyway, hopefully I'll see you next week. Dope episode. Dope episode. But there's one video that we watched tonight that was a hiccup because we had already seen it before. Good thing I caught it early. But now it's time to make up for it with the next video. <laughs> Last video, baby. Y'all, this is scary footage that will send chills down your spine. Y'all ready for this? Do, 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 do. That look like a deer. How you doing? I'm Callan, and this is Slap Cam. Today we're looking at some scary videos that are leaving viewers on edge. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like, like this. this. <laughs> Almost every country in the world has certain places that locals fear to visit due to superstition and mythology. Angel's Curve is just such a place for those living in the Central American country of Guatemala. This footage from local news channel Canal 3 Guatemala makes it clear why residents tend to stay away from this particular I remember this footage. spot, especially after dark. Navigating a windy road can be dangerous if the conditions are slippery. For shizzle. But ordinarily, a good driver should have nothing to fear when manoeuvring their way along a road such as this. Shizzle. Unfortunately, it seems that even the best drivers might want to take extra caution as they approach Angel's Curve. According to locals, this part of the road has seen more than its fair share of crashes, and several security cameras have even managed to capture the mayhem. They're usually single car accidents in which the driver simply loses control of their vehicle. However, many of these incidents have been fatal. While it would be easy to blame these accidents on a treacherous stretch of road, footage seems to suggest that this is not the case at all. In this particular video, we see a car losing control as it travels around Angel's Curve. I wonder what's up with this part of the road, why people keep losing control of their vehicles and crashing. Why this part of the road? Is something showing itself to them and they're trying to avoid it so they won't hit it and it's causing to the causing them to crash their cars? Or is the road excuse me, or is the road real slippery? Just as the vehicle comes to a standstill, a misty white light suddenly appears to rise from the scene of the accident.
While this incident was obviously not fatal, many locals have come to believe that this white light is some sort of angel. Could this road have its very own angel of death that is responsible for spinning cars out of control? Possibility. Another theory about the strange white light is that it's simply glare from a nearby street light reflecting off the smoke that is billowing out of the damaged car. The problem with this theory, however, is that the white light's been seen several times, and it's also said to appear on both sides of the road. Also, take a look at this view of the same accident from a different camera. Sorry about that. As you can see, the footage appears to show a dark, shadow-like figure moving from the road and disappearing through what looks to be a locked gate. What do you think's going on along this infamous stretch of road? Regardless of the cause of these accidents, local drivers may be wise to find an alternative route when driving through the area. Nah, what they can do is slow down, man. Clearly that fool was going like 10, 15 miles over the speed limit. Especially at night time. Look, well, watch. Oh wait, that was the ghost. Look at that, he's flying. That was the ghost too. Some of you may not realize we also run a merch store that's filled with some really fun paranormal designs. Ooh, nice. We work closely with some amazing indie horror artists to come, Ooh, I like that. come up with unique artwork. We've got loads of different hoodies and tees, like Old Mate Butcher here, the sassy Sasquatch himself, hey, and with Halloween just around the corner, yes it is, my birthday baby, it's never too early to rock this bad boy. My birthday! As always, there's links in the description box below, and there's the merch shelf just below the player there. Check it out. If you're looking to witness something paranormal, hospitals, with the overwhelming amount of death they see, are probably a good place to start. I bet every hospital, if it all was, if, if every hospital was abandoned, they will all have paranormal activity. This video, uploaded to YouTube by Casos Paranormales, shows what one might expect to see in such a creepy place. Supposedly recorded in an Argentinian hospital, the footage appears to be an excerpt taken from a security camera placed high on the wall of one of the building's corridors. This is a security potato. Initially, there's not much movement to be seen. It's a hot potato, it's shaking. Is that a wheelchair moving? The first strange activity you may notice happens near the bottom of the screen. Watch closely and you may see an unusual black shadow moving around near the edge of the video. That's potato quality footage, man. That was nothing special. It could just be because of the bad quality of the footage that caused that to look like that. This could be a simple glitch in the footage itself. However, what happens next makes this seem far less likely. Tell me about it. Moments after the black shadow appears, the wheelchair parked in the hallway slowly begins to move on its own. Yo, that wheelchair's not even rolling. It's sliding, bro. It wheels forward a few feet before gradually spinning around and backing itself into an adjacent corridor. There's no way that the chair could have moved this way without some sort of intervention. Yeah, you see how it slid first to give it some um, some clarity before going down this hall? That's weird, bro. Several viewers have noticed a small black shadow near the base of the wheelchair. They believe that a tiny elf-like creature known in South American folklore as a duende might actually be pushing the device. Others, however, think it's a spirit or ghost of some kind. I can't make it out. It could be real. Take another look at the footage and tell me what you think. Is a tiny creature really pushing the wheelchair? Or could a pesky poltergeist be the one that's to blame? Watch closely and draw your own conclusions. Many people are oh, afraid of dolls. Perhaps it's because of the child's play films. 
Or maybe it's just the thought of seeing an inanimate, childlike effigy suddenly spring to life. Either way, it's hard to deny that there's something creepy about them. According to psychologists, the reason that people are so creeped out by dolls comes from the, the way the brain processes. The reason I'm so creeped out by dolls is because check it. Check it was on the screen just now. That's why I don't like dolls. Dang, gone it. Tessa's faces. We can quickly recognize when something looks like a face, and then our brain begins the task of determining if the object is alive or not. Nope, not me. Because dolls can mimic human expressions so closely, our brains assume that there must be an actual person behind the face. This, juxtaposed with the lifeless nature of the toys, can certainly be extremely disconcerting. This video from TikToker Horrigool88 certainly seems to confirm the theory that there's something not quite normal about these seemingly innocent toys. In the footage, we see a room filled with dozens of different types of dolls. Most of them are placed on the shelves that cover every wall of the room, but a particularly creepy Chucky doll rests on a chair close to the camera. It's unclear why the camera is set up in the room in the first place. However, it seems that the TikToker must have suspected something odd was happening in the room when they weren't around. Sure enough, the dolls don't disappoint. Take a look. Oh, hey, no, that's Chucky! <coughs> Oh, heck nah. Y'all see this mess? Y'all see these dolls behind me? Nah, heck nah. Despite the fact that there's no one in the room, the Chucky doll just behind the chair mysteriously falls to the ground. No way. Oh no. Uh-uh. Nope. Does this. If I'm going in this room and I see that Chucky doll on the floor, I'm walking out. I'm leaving. I ain't even gonna pick it up. Nope, not me. Doll have a mind of its own. Or could... He's on the hunt. Chucky jumped down so he can get somebody. Heck no. Heck no. 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 Will Poltergeist be responsible? That's a that's a Chucky geist. Of nope. Course. See, this is why I don't like dolls in the first place. Cause of Chucky. I'm not dealing with that. No. No. We can't. I mean, of course, there's always the slight chance that the doll simply fell over on its own. But what do you think? Are our minds just playing tricks on us, or could there really be a paranormal explanation for the doll's sudden movement? There are a lot of strange creatures in the forests and oceans around us that have yet to be formally documented by science. In this video from YouTuber Dr. Moonrat, a group of boys come across a creature that resembles something straight out of an urban legend. The explorers head out into a wooded area late at night in a seeming attempt to find something unusual. <laughs> no, I think... Just as they begin discussing the possibility that they just saw an orb, they're suddenly interrupted by a guttural squealing sound. I don't know, mate. What was that? Y'all, real quick, I need y'all to keep the chat clean. Please, no pet, no profanity. We got kids in here, baby. What was that? Be mindful. They nervously joke that they might get eaten by a pig out in the woods. However, they're like. After quickly, they fear getting eaten by pigs instead of eating the pig. That makes no sense. He turns to fear when the faint light from their camera picks up some sort of half pig, half human like beast. Take a look. Uh, I don't know. I'll wait it out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, crap. The explorers run away in terror, haunted by the creature's spine chilling squeals. What is that? The legend of the pig man began in Chicago in 1893 with the the pig man, really. The only thing scary about the pig man is his face. There shouldn't be anything else scary about the pig man. He's just a man with a pig face. Butcher who would work while wearing a pig mask. According to the story, the pigs eventually took revenge on the man. Legends say that the spirit of the deceased butcher can be summoned by looking into a mirror and saying, Here, piggy, pig, pig. 
However, attempting to summon this angry spirit is definitely ill-advised. While we never actually hear the explorers in the video summoning the pig man, could it be possible that they actually encountered this legendary monster? However, the uploader themselves in the comments section suggests that they may have encountered a homeless man who ran at them in the dark of night. Unfortunately, with the footage being so sh That's their buddy in the costume, a pig costume. He's, he's Sir Unk oinks a lot. Shaky, it's hard to determine. Look at that, look at that. You got a pig mask on. Which one's the case? So you'll have to watch this footage again and come up with your own conclusions. I don't know. Oh crap. Oh crap. What is that? That's your buddy with a pig mask on. Oink, oink. Lots of scary things happen while working as a paramedic. It just didn't sound believable enough, y'all. If it was me, I would have been screaming. However, most emergency medical workers probably don't worry about ghosts. Yeah, Jason, I know pigs will eat you. But you will eat a pig too, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, depending on your religion. This video from YouTuber Bog Daddy suggests that they might want to add spirits to their list of occupational hazards. The video seems to have been recorded on a cell phone from the front seat of a vehicle driving just behind an ambulance. It's dark out and there's a light inside the ambulance which makes it possible to see into the back of the vehicle. Take a look at what they see. The passengers become disturbed when they notice a pale face staring at them through the window. The face doesn't move or change expression, it simply stares eerily for the entire duration of the video. Some viewers have suggested that although creepy, there's nothing supernatural happening, simply a patient, perhaps with some sort of mental illness, on their way to the hospital. It seems highly unlikely that the medics would have left the patient alone while experiencing an emergency, one that was important enough to necessitate an ambulance. So then, what could this entity be? The uploader has suggested that the face could belong to a ghost, and as it probably isn't unusual for patients to pass away en route to the hospital, this does seem like a plausible theory. Perhaps it's actually the spirit of someone who took their final ride in this ambulance that's responsible for the creepy face in the vehicle's window. Look like they filmed this on the phone from 2003. Potato. I can't tell what that face is. YouTube channel Connor Does Adventure regularly uploads videos of a group of teen boys exploring unusual places around their town. Often they come across quite bizarre things, and this adventure... I'm with you, I couldn't see it either. There is certainly no different. In this clip, Connor and a friend decide to explore a desert area near their town later. Hey, no. this flashlight makes a square. <laughs> their only illumination comes from a single flashlight. That makes a square. I would not be the only one out there with a flashlight, I'll tell you that right now. During their exploration, the boys are clearly nervous, most likely because of their previous encounters in the tunnels near their town. Ah, boys going to tunnels sound like some Pennywise freaking, what's that movie called? T.I.? I mean, it. They gather their courage and decide to head towards an abandoned sewer. Don't do it, don't do it, that's how kids end up missing. That's how, for a while. That, yeah, don't y'all, didn't y'all watch the movie It, stupid? All their trip is uneventful. You're young enough, and old enough, and dumb enough. I'm not doing then, it. Just as everything seems normal, they spot something strange near one of the sewer grates. What, what did they spot? Was it a red floating balloon? You, you might want to run right now. What? 
Yo, what the freak of nature? As you can see, that looked legit. They hesitantly shine the flashline towards the grate, just in time to capture some sort of strange figure. Look at that. Its feet. Look at that. That looks so legit. And it has a shadow that's accurate. It looks so legit. That is not a person. That is not a person. <laughs> and it's climbing up. That looks so legit, y'all. The figure's brownish gray color allows it to camouflage remarkably well against the darkened tunnel just behind it. Its face and head appear to be obscured by a hood or mask. Or it could be a monkey. Monkey man, half monkey, half man. The figure immediately notices the boys and quickly steps outside of the grate, slowly moving towards them. <laughs> Scared, the boys quickly run into the darkness. You were gonna go! Yes, you do gotta go. go. However, nah, that thing was too small to be a person. Just when they think it's finally safe, they turn around only to realize the mysterious figure has actually followed them. Oh wait, no, it is the same size as a person because that's a fence. Yeah, he's coming towards, I don't know. Luckily, the explorers eventually managed to get away safely, leaving whatever was chasing them far behind in the desert. Do you think you can get past these gates right here? Yeah, look, there's an entrance right there. That's how we... Go! They oh, dip down! Many of the channel's fans have since speculated about whether or not this is the same creature the boys have spotted in several of their previous videos. What? If it is, then they might be staging it. Dang, gone it. I'll leave a link to their channel in the description box below so you can take a look and judge for yourself. He's coming. Dude, he's coming. Dude, do you think he can get past these gates right here? Yeah, dude, look, there's an entrance right there. That's how we... Go! Kids tend to have overactive imaginations, so it's easy to discount some of the more outlandish stories they come up with as fiction. In the case of YouTuber Jam to Jam Man, he decided to use a camera to capture proof of his scary encounter. From the beginning of the video, it seems obvious that this boy has seen something strange in a nearby window. Show it to me. He points the camera towards the second story of the house, where we can see a ghostly face peering out from behind a pulled curtain. Minosi. The uploader suggests that. Have we seen this? He believes it to be the ghost of a young child that is watching him from the window. Or maybe it's just a young child with a, a hockey mask on. Hey, buddy! He's watching me. Clearly frightened. Hey, that's this kid's buddy. And the kid looked like he recorded this on the tablet. He hurriedly walks away. However, when he glances back and sees that the door to the house is opening, he begins running in terror. So what's Go. going on in this innocent looking townhouse? Some viewers believe that it's most likely a kid just wearing a mask. That's what I said. <laughs> He's watching me. We never actually get a chance to see what comes out of the open door, so this is definitely a possibility. Regardless of who or what is looking out the window, this pale face staring into the camera is one that may just haunt your next nightmare. Ghost or young prankster? Whatever the case may be, there's no denying that this is one creepy video. If you guys can see that, it's a little kid. He's watching me. Before we take a look at something truly eerie captured during a TikTok dance video, Remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Exactly. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to Slap Ham, King Frostmare, Nukes, Chills, all of those guys, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to them. They're goats, man. If y'all want to watch their videos before I do the reactions, 
un unedited, uninterrupted by me, subscribe. TikTok is often used by people wanting to show off their latest dance. Man, I swear TikTok people are strange. <laughs> TikTok is often like look at the face that they're about to make. They're about to make a face that is staple for TikTok. And used by Look at that. What is that? People wanting to show off their latest dance moves to all of their followers. This clip is like they're robots or something. From official audio fan shows that even an innocent dance video has She looked like she's about to do some TikTok mess. Has the potential to turn creepy. At the start of the footage, we see a young woman. Look. It's paused, and all I see is TikTok movements. Woman dancing in front of the camera. She's smiling and clearly having a good time. However, viewers distracted by the dancing woman might not notice something rather eerie happening in the background. Just behind the girl is a darkened doorway. If you look closely, you'll see what appears to be a ghostly face peering out of the darkness. The face is extremely pale and is partially covered with long, stringy black hair. And it dropped down. That was weird. The creepy figure just sits silently, creepily watching the woman dance. The appearance of this ghostly face resembles typical depictions of a Japanese spirit known as an onryo. That is how it looks. That is exactly how it looks. The onryo is thought to be a vengeful ghost harming its enemies to make up for the wrongdoings it experienced in life. It's often depicted with pale white skin and unkempt black hair. Although the face certainly seems to match this description, this could also just be a simple case of pareidolia, the brain's tendency to see faces in inanimate objects. That look like... That look like a former president. Abraham Lincoln. It's possible that the dim light in the background is making something else resemble a ghostly face. Nah, that's moving. That's a face. It drops down. If there Ooh. is indeed something supernatural lurk, it drops down. Looking in the back of this video, I know I'm not the only one that saw that thing drop down. Slapham said there's a possibility that our mind could be playing tricks on us and making us think that we're seeing faces in in, in, in inanimate. I, I still got mucus on my throat. Inanimate objects. No, that moved. The young woman happily dancing may not be so carefree for long. If the Onrio is watching, then it may only be a matter of time before disaster strikes. It moved, right? I know it moved. I, look, I'm not crazy. I'm crazy, but I ain't that crazy. Come on now. Tell me that thing moved. Tell me. Y'all, we've made it. We've made it to the end of the live stream. Yep, yep. I see. I knew I knew I wasn't the only one. V Men said he saw it move too. Told y'all. I told y'all. Shout out to Ashley M. Always up in here. Thank you, sweetheart, for the donor. Appreciate you as always. Christopher Hernandez. Another one. Josh McKee, another one. Same, baby. We got the same folks all the time. Miss D, thank you so much. Shout out to you. Kristen slid through with Don't Know. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you. Y'all, we got some people that was on the website copping some stuff. Let me shout these people out right quick. People that was shopping on the website over the weekend. Showing love, showing support. I'm going to sign all that stuff for y'all and ship it out to y'all. It's early as tomorrow. And um, for some of y'all, I actually, when I got back home from the post, um, from out of town, I um, dropped off a bunch of packages at the post office today for you guys. So be on the lookout. A bunch of y'all got some stuff coming on your way really, really soon. Joanne, shout out to you. Thank you so much. Got your order right here, sweetheart. Who is this? Aaron. Aaron C. What's going on with you? Thank you so much. Betsy, thank you so much for the order. Christelle, I see you, girl. Thank you so much. Ryan with the big order. Four items on here. Thank you so much. What you got, man? Oh, you got two tank tops, a t-shirt, and a cap. Nice. I'm signing all of it for you. That's a promise, baby. That's a promise. Brandy, shout out to you. Thank you so much. Dylan, shout out to you. That's in for today's orders. Let me go ahead and shout out the people that copped over the weekend. Um, Timothy, shout out to you. Rebecca, I see you. 
Jeffrey, Penny. I don't know if you guys are in here, but I'm still ch shouting you guys out regardless. Lindsay, Crystal, shout out to both of you. Thank you so much. Nicholas and Summer. Um, well, well, Cruz, thank you so much. Uh, wait, hold on, we got two more. That was Alexa and... Hold on. J hold on. Jolandi? Jolanda? Jolanda? I can't say that name, but thank you so much for the order. Y'all, we did it. We made it to the end of the live stream. What y'all talking about up in here? Hey, y'all know what I need y'all to do? I need y'all to spam the chat right now. Let the people of the world know where y'all are. I'm about to put it in my Instagram story. That's something I haven't done in a while. That's something I haven't done in a while. But it's time to let the people know what it is. It's time to let the people know what it is. Hold on, real quick. Let me get over here. Boom. I'm on Instagram right now. About to put y'all in my Instagram story. Y'all will be able to see your names pop up on the screens. People are saying one mo. I get look, I gave y'all my spare video. I gave y'all my spare video, man. I didn't have another one ready. I didn't have another one ready. I need some likes, man. I need some likes on this video. I don't even know how many we got right now. But I'm going to need some likes for one more. But I still need y'all to spam the chat and let the world know where y'all at. Let the world know where y'all at, big baby. You feel me? Let me see where we at. Where are we at? How many likes we got on this video? We got 1,400. Not bad. Not bad at all. Do you think we can get a solid... Solid 1800, 18 to 2000 likes on this video for one friggin' mer. For our friggin' mer. Y'all, we is in here. Y'all, look at my folks, man. We got people asking for one more. We got people, hey, Texas, I was just out there. We got Michigan. We got Birmingham. We got LA up in here. We got Oklahoma. We got Cali all up in here. New York's up in here. Colorado, Cleveland, Newbury. What's going on? Iowa, Florida, I see y'all up in here. Plenty of Texas folks. I was just out there, man. Y'all ain't even come hang out with your boy. <laughs> we got Brunswick, Georgia, man. My my besties from out there. Yes, yeah, sir. Y'all, I got it slowed down too, so y'all be able to see that on the gram. Once y'all go check that thing out, big baby. I see y'all up in here. New Orleans up in here. What up, crack a lacking? I see you, baby, baby. I see y'all up in here. Let's see, where we at? We at 1,600. Nice. 200 more for one more video. In the meantime, in between time, let me go see if I can find that thing. Let me see if I can go find that thing. We got folks up in here from Portugal, Columbus, Columbus, Iowa. Iowa? Iowa. We got my Floridians up in here. We got the Maryland folks up in here. Hey, for people that's asking about the Mr. Ballin, Mr. Ballin will be next weekend. Mr. Ballin will be next weekend. No, like Wednesday. Wednesday or something like that. Norcross. We got some Norcross. Hey, what up, girl? Hey, look, you close to me then, baby. Secure, you close to me. Wilfred just slid through with the don't know talking about one mo. Y'all know what that means. Y'all got to hit that like button for your boy, though. You close to me. Yeah, Mr. Ballin is going to be on. Uh, we'll do that in the middle of the week. Usually, usually I can expect my, expect my Mr. Ballin live streams in the mid to of the week. You feels me? And we might make that one be a members only live stream chat we got eight new members tonight so you guys will have access to the chat on that day and i'm going to be paying you guys a little bit more closer attention to um if i can during that live stream i'm back i wanted to make sure we made this about the content and not about me or the chat you know so i was giving y'all this video since i missed friday y'all know i was out of town but vlog vlog coming tomorrow Vlog is coming tomorrow. Yes, I got a U. Hey, actually, I got a UF, um, UFO video coming for you guys too. I might upload that tomorrow. And I got an insane Karen reaction. People have been sending me this video left and right. I saw a little bits and bits and clips of it, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be probably one of the top tier Karen reactions that I do. 
uh, tomorrow because she looked like she spazzed out like she was a child. She looked like she spazzed out like she was a child. And I found the TikTok video of it and it looked like it's um, a two-part thing. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited about checking out that whole thing. Um, I don't know how long it is. I've seen probably like 10 seconds of it though. Yeah, baby, we are almost there. We are at 1,712. We're just shy of hitting that mark 1,800. Shout out to everybody that's hanging out with us tonight. I don't even know how many people we got in here no more. I know a bunch of them fell off. We done lost about, woo, we done lost about almost 400 people, man. We done lost, but that's what happens when people don't know about the one mo video. They don't know. Who's the blame? Who is the blame? It's all good. They'll be all right. Nah, they'll be all right. Hold on. Let me see. I want to make sure I didn't miss any of you guys. Tanizite. <laughs> nah, Wilfred talking about two mo. Two mo. Two mo. Woohoo! That's a tall order for your boy. We already an hour late to this thing. We's already an hour late to this thing. How many likes do I need for two more? Huh. Definitely need my 1800 for one more. For the YouTube al algorithm, you know how it works. Look, it's gonna get us closer to that million subscriber go, which we're only 20K shy of. My channel has been growing hella slow in comparison to previous months. But that's okay, because we still gonna get there next month. Next month, we're getting, we're gonna hit a million subscribers. I don't even know how to act. I don't even know how to act. I don't even know what to do. But uh, two more, I'm gonna need a solid two grand. I'm gonna need a two grand on that like button for two more, Biggie. Ooh. <laughs> That's right. White butterfly. They weren't paying attention. Psh, they'll be back. Hey, Rain. It's all good because we in here. We is in here. They asking for two more video. Oh, look. They got my one more, though. They got my one more. They trying to get two more now. I'm gonna need two grand. I'm going to leave two grand on that like button. I see you with 1800. We about to get to the thing. But let me shout out my new channel member, Lance. Thank you so much. We in here. Lane. Oh, uh, no. Who is that? Rain. Yep. Like I, like I said, baby. Yeah. You, you you made it. You made it. Thank you for the $5. Don't know. But we might have two more videos. It just depends if we can get, get this two grand on the like button. Ryan. Real. Thank you, brother. Welcome. New channel member. Y'all, we got 10 new channel members tonight. Y'all going to get a channel, channel member only chat live stream only and then um if things go as planned i want to give y'all a channel members um request elite member request video on thursday night if not tomorrow night y'all might get that tomorrow night where my channel members my elite members request things for me to react to yes sir i'm looking forward to that but it has to be in pertain to YouTube. And I and I have to let you know rather or not I'll actually be able to react to it because y'all seen what happened last time. My, <laughs> my live stream got shut down. Y'all, you know, things get crazy around here. Things get real crazy. But anyway, we're about to get this party started. This next video. This is... Slap tap, baby. These creepy photos are freaking people out. Y'all ready for this? Wait, my chair keeps shrinking. Oh, there we go. Much better. Let's get it. How you doing? I'm Callan, and this is Slap Tam. The following scary images are leaving people on edge. But as always, before we dive in, remember to hit that subscribe button for more creepy content. Just, Just like, like this. this. <laughs> Caves, while often magnificent in their beauty, are often associated with some very real fears. Go deep enough and you're bound to be entrenched in total darkness and freezing cold temperatures. Not to mention the isolation. If something dangerous happens deep down in a cave, you may be waiting a long time for the right kind of rescue to arrive. 
Two cave goers at the Devil's Icebox Cave in Nelson Ledge's Quarry Park, Ohio, were fortunate enough to get away from something before they were in need of rescue. But just what this something actually was remains a mystery. The photo of these cave goers, uploaded by Jennifer Alba Judson on Facebook, has been making many would be explorers giving the activity a second thought. Shout out to my boy Wilfred, he just upgraded to super supporter. In the photo, we can see two individuals making oh, their way through the cave, tightly squeezed between two large rocks. What's that? Behind the individual in the back, we can see what seems to be a ghostly entity. That look like pure evilness. With large, completely wide eyes looking directly into the camera. The figure's head is white and almost skull-like. Behind this figure is a strange formation that almost looks like a billow of smoke. Some viewers believe they can see faces in this smoky substance as well. The poster of this photograph claims that no editing or photoshop was done, as some other Facebookers were sceptical of the authenticity of the photo. They believe that the entity looked too much like a human male, especially since the figure seemed to have short black hair on top of its head. Also, if you look at the cave explorer just in front of the entity, they too have strange looking eyes, making many believe it's just a camera glitch and that the entity is just a third cave explorer. So could this just be a cleverly manipulated image or is this cave home to some terrifying entity? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. A trip to the beach is supposed to be a pleasant day out. But unfortunately, for one couple in the Philippines, their trip to Alaminos resulted in an eerie encounter. Slaptown viewer Jeffrey BP provided the image for all to try and make sense of. The picture shows a woman, the viewer's wife, standing in the ocean. In the background, we can see an island of trees on the beach. Right above this set of trees is a bizarre looking object that seems to hover in the air. A close-up of this object shows something quite strange. The object actually looks to be a woman with a hunched back, very long dark hair and no feet floating in the air. The Philippines are no stranger to sightings of ghostly women. In fact, the country is filled with stories of sightings of the White Lady. This woman, typically dressed in white, is a ghost who's suffered great tragedy in the past, such as the loss of a partner or child. She's said to haunt the area where the tragedy occurred, scaring all others who dared to go there. While the woman shown in this photo here doesn't seem to be wearing any sort of white garment, her actions resemble that typically associated with the white lady, hovering over a certain spot looking frozen in place and sad. Did this beach visitor get a glimpse of the local legend? What do you make of this bizarre floating object? Let me know your theories in the comment section below. As most hospitals have seen a fair amount of death at some point or another, it is perhaps no surprise that hospital employees and patients alike report seeing strange things. Reddit user IntelligentFix3680 shared an eerie photo allegedly taken in what was supposed to be an unused wing of a hospital. At first glance, we can see what looks to be a typical hospital room in the photo. Oh, I remember this clip. We've seen this before. However, focusing on the center of the image, we can spot what's setting the comment section of Reddit ablaze. Here stands what looks to be a small young girl, her face turned downward, staring directly into the camera. She wears a dark dress and has pale skin, giving her a ghostly aura. A lot of viewers believe the hospital wing actually looks like it's currently being used, however. Redditors have pointed to the trash bag in the trash can, blankets stacked in the blanket warmer section, and charts hung up on the door. However, other Redditors have stated that some unused wings of hospitals are still routinely restocked and cleaned in case they need to be used in the future, which could explain these observations. And so, while this image is doing the rounds as a supposed ghost photo, it's quite possible that this is just a little girl wandering around a hospital. Art is subjective, but sometimes enough people will unanimously agree that a piece makes them feel a certain way. 
That was the case with one image of an artwork shared by Reddit user Joshi240. In this instance, the feeling felt by thousands was unsettling. While this sighting isn't supernatural in any way, it's creepy nonetheless. There's no need to zoom in with this image or give it a second look. The horror is immediate. We can see some kind of underground tunnel and... I wouldn't see the big deal and I would think this was cool. I wouldn't think that this is creepy or nothing. I was like, yo, this is art. To the left, what the Reddit user has dubbed a wall person. He has one leg jutting out along with his torso and his left arm is dangling downwards. Reddit users were in agreement that this picture was downright creepy. Nah. Why the artist decided to install this artwork is unknown, but some speculate it was simply to creep out whoever decided to investigate the tunnel. Imagine ex That would though, that would creep me out. Exploring this- If I was just investigating the tunnel and saw that- <laughs> Dingy dark tunnel and- I'm Like yo, you guys, I saw a man walk off the wall. Coming across this thing, it's a no from me. supposed to be a beautiful sunny afternoon of play turned into a day of mystery for parent Jessica Jones Ebert. Rather than simply getting a few cute pictures of her children playing on the lawn, she ended up with something eerie instead. In the first picture we see her son playing on the lawn, seemingly having a good time. In the second picture her son has turned to face her the camera and viewers are met with a chilling sight. To the right of the child seems to be another young child, though this child looks nearly transparent and grey, almost ghost-like. Finally in the third image, Jessica's daughter joins her son in play. The possible ghost child in question is now in the background, staring at the two living children from a distance. It's possible that the third mystery child could actually just be another human child caught in rapid movement which would explain his or her blurriness. However, Jessica's certain that there were no other children nearby when the photo was taken. Joanne, yep, the speak your shoot, the, I can't even talk right tonight. The speak your truth shirts are on the way. Could this last run ever? This eerie gray figure actually be the spirit of a deceased child? Perhaps something awful happened in this very park and the spirit is trying to make contact. Give these photos another look and decide for yourself as to what's actually happening here. For one, it looks like a potato. Look like a potato camera. Look at this kid. He's all pixelated. I don't know what to make of that. It could be some type of ghost spirit or entity. It looks very... It looks very legit. <clears throat> Gabrielle Smith, yes, the UFO video I was telling you about is the one I'm doing tomorrow. This photo was shared by the group Anomalous and Paranormal Phenomena in Buryatia. It was taken at Lake Baikal in Buryatia, Siberia in mid-2020. In the photo, we can see a man emerging from the lake in the centre of frame. Just a short distance behind him is what looks to be a shadowy figure resembling a large man. His shadow is also emerging from the lake with a mist surrounding him. The original photographer of this picture explained that there was no fog on that particular day and that the weather was clear, so this figure couldn't be explained as being some type of mist. But it doesn't really match though. You see the grain in the rest of this image? I've done enough picture editing and video editing to know if something really belongs in a picture or not. I'm not I'm no professional, but I can definitely tell that the grain around this man in the water compared to this, it doesn't match. This is a bit too smooth. Some wish Wait, did it just lighten up? Did somebody just edit this in the middle of me looking at it? So this figure couldn't be explained as being some type of mist. Some were sure that the so-called shadow figure was actually just a trick of the camera, perhaps a case of double exposure. The strange thing is though, that the figure looks to be making a wave as it emerges from the water. Hmm. This photo isn't the only strange event to take place here either. Lake Baikal is the largest freshwater lake on earth, 
It's estimated to be around 25 million years old. God damn, that's a, that's a long time. With a depth of nearly 1,700 metres. Ancient cultures revered the lake for its life-giving properties, and over many centuries, the lake has been the centre of myth and legend. Hey, Kermit420, the um, big face stickers, I'm, I'm, I believe I ordered it in the biggest size that I could possibly get, but I'll double check. A large unknown creature lives at the bottom of the lake. In some texts, it's referred to as a fire dragon. In the 12th to 14th centuries, marauding Mongol armies would raid nearby villages and make bloody sacrifices to the dragon of Lake Baikal. Thousands of people were killed in the raids, their bodies dropped into the waters of the lake as offerings. In more recent years, reports of extraterrestrial activity have centred on the lake. According to former Soviet naval officer Vladimir Sasa, declassified documents released by the Russian government report that in 1982, seven military divers were performing exercises in the depths of the lake when they spotted underwater vehicles. It was indicated that the unknown craft moved at speeds far greater than anything the Soviet Navy was in possession of at the time. The squad of divers were also said to encounter strange silver-clad beings swimming deep within the lake. Aliens! Aliens! Told y'all they're in the water! According to Zaza, the report indicates that the divers tried to apprehend the beings, but it resulted in a confrontation that ended with the deaths of three of the divers and the rest being badly injured. To compound the mysteries of Lake Baikal, in April 2009, NASA astronauts photographed a large disc-like impression beneath the lake. Many UFO enthusiasts speculated that the shape indicated that a large craft of some kind was hidden deep within the lake. This, coupled with reports of local residents seeing strange flying objects regularly around the lake, makes for a puzzling conclusion. So could the strange, shadowy figure captured in this photo be somehow linked to these mysterious reports? Or could it even be a lingering spirit from one of the poor souls sacrificed at the hands of the Mongol hordes? With so many strange tales surrounding the lake, it's hard to know for sure just what's been captured in this unsettling photo. Ms. A.G. Huff, what you talking about, lady? An answer, an answer for what you talking about? Other places filled with tales of ghostly sightings of prisons specifically prisons with a long history of executions. The old Melbourne jail, located in Melbourne, Australia, certainly meets this criteria, having executed over 130 inmates in its nearly 80-year operation. Oof. Its most notorious prisoner was Ned Kelly, infamous for being a bush ranger in Australia. What's Nowadays, that? many visitors flock to the prison grounds, now a museum, to get a glimpse of the prison's history. One of these visitors was Slaptown viewer Tim Lappin, who snapped a photo during his visit that has many people freaked out. The photo consists of a wide shot of the interior of the prison. We can see the two levels of the prison, each composed of long hallways with prison cells dotted on each side. It's on the right side of the photo that the suspicious activity appears. What? Coming out of one of the cell blocks oh. directly behind the woman strolling down the hallway, is what looks to be a head hovering in mid-air. It crazy. looks to be disembodied and somewhat transparent. A quick noise analysis shows that the photo doesn't appear to have been manipulated in any way. I was about to say that could have been another Patreon of this um of this place, of this facility that's just, you know, walking and wandering, and they might have stepped into the cell. And now they're walking out, and this is just what it looks like as they're walking out. You know what I mean? It's just a motion blur. It could be. A luminance gradient filter seems to show that the disembodied head is indeed transparent. The object is slightly indented when looking through the filter, which suggests that light is filtering through the object. The photographer who shared the shot did mention that the cell in which this head appears was noticeably very cold, a common sign of paranormal activity. Not far from where this photo was taken is the infamous Cell 17, 
Many workers and visitors believe this to be the most haunted room in all of the prison. Those who have entered the foreboding cell have reported feeling inexplicably ill or emotionally unsettled. One occasion saw a seeing eye dog enter the room and become extremely agitated. The otherwise obedient and placid dog barked and snarled and had to be removed immediately. One journalist claims that they were pulled into the room by an unseen force. Could the supposed floating head caught on camera by Tim be a glimpse into the supernatural forces that are said to be lingering in this old building? As this prison has seen many deaths, it's not inconceivable that one of the executed prisoners could be choosing to haunt this place in the afterlife. Possibility. Before we take a look at an eerie photo taken in an abandoned house, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Also, remember to grab that thumbs up button by the hand there and tiptoe through the tulips. Abandoned houses tend to be a magnet for squatters, critters and adolescents looking for a place to have fun. For some, they also act as interesting material for photographs. A photographer known only as RM shared a photo to the internet that has caused quite a stir. In the photograph, we can see the abandoned house from a slight distance. The structure looks beat up with broken windows and torn panels across the house. However, a closer look at the lower right window shows something far more terrifying than a sketchy home. There seems to be a small face peering out of the window. Some have likened it to that of a little girl. Some viewers even thought there were faces to be seen in the upper window too. After it had been pointed out to the photographer that there seemed to be faces in the windows, she decided to go back to the location and see if she could spot either real life people or even ghosts in the house. I hope what I've been doing just now kind of prove a point you guys. It is damn near impossible for me to watch the chat as much as you guys would like and for me to pay attention to the content. It takes away from it. It absolutely does. I don't even know what's going on in this clip and it's not right. I gotta go back because I have no idea what this clip is because I'm trying to pay attention to the chat because you guys are asking for my attention and I can't give it to everyone as they please. Don't get mad at me. It's about the reaction more than it is about the chat, truth be told. A photographer known only as RM shared a photo to the internet that has caused quite a stir. In the photograph, we can see the abandoned house from a slight distance. The structure looks beat up with broken windows and torn panels across the house. However, a closer look at the lower right window shows something far more terrifying than a sketchy home. There seems to be a small face peering out of the window. I don't see it. I see it. I, I don't see it. Look, I just see some messed up curtains. Am I right or am I wrong? Yeah, that's all I see is messed up curtains. Some have likened it to that of a little girl. Some viewers even thought there were faces to be seen in the upper window too. Don't see that either. Nope, not me. After it had been pointed out to the photographer that there seemed to be faces in the windows, she decided to go back to the location and see if she could spot either real life people or even ghosts in the house. After closer inspection with her binoculars, she decided that the face in the lower window was simply a torn window shade and the two faces in the upper window were just a reflection of a tree. Eyes, Still, some remain that's, that's eyes playing tricks on you. i <laughs> skeptical of these explanations. No, nah, no, don't be. Come on now, look at that. It's the same color. It's the same color, not a face. And believe that there could be children hiding out in this abandoned house. What, is this a child and they're not even looking out the window? They're looking, their eyes is against the freaking, um... Hold on, I can't, I need something. I don't have nothing. I don't have nothing I can use. Their eyes is like against the thing, like this. Like, no, come on now. It will all come down to who's brave enough to venture inside the house and see what is truly lurking in there. Yeah, we got over 2,000 likes, so it looked like, it looked like we got one more video. If you want to see some more freaky photos, then check. Yeah, bizarre bub is how we finish in the night off, y'all.
Steve H, new channel member, thank you so much. Miss Horton, new channel member, thank you so much. Appreciate y'all. We got 14 new channel members tonight. Big baby. Check out that link on the... All right, let's get to this last video. And then I'll be out of y'all hair. Scary video comp 33. Two. Y'all know how this man be. Let's get it. Friends are inside a room recording someone who appears to be yelling at something. They seem very unsettled. This man just posted up in a corner, okay. And appear to be staying as far away as possible from this person. However, it isn't until they decide to approach this person that they see what it is that they're yelling at. What they saw left them more disturbed than before. This is what they caught. What do you what do you want? What do you want? Get get us. There appears to be a small, shadowy figure manifesting and disappearing at the same time. Oh, hey, no. Now, it's not certain if this was actually something paranormal, as this could have been caused by the lighting in the room, thus making the shadow. But upon closer examination, lighting doesn't seem to explain it. I actually have no idea as to what this might be. But I'll leave it to you to decide as to whether or not this was something paranormal. As all yo, if they all saw that there, ghosts are real. I, t I told y'all many times before, ghosts are real. Please, what are your thoughts? Tony Nogueta is recording his son when he captures something. Oh, uh, I think I remember this one. Nope. So he thinks, although they have the place to themselves. Tony can't help but feel like they're not the only ones there. One time, when no one else was home, Tony had seen something from the corner of his eye. He'd seen what appeared to be a small child running quickly past his room. He didn't think much of this, as he thought he was just seeing things. But, on the night that he and his son were alone, Tony- I do remember this. Tony captured something pretty disturbing. They reach in he on didn't this one. notice at first until a friend of his had seen the video. Watch this, watch this, watch this reach, watch this reach. And spotted something that made his stomach drop. The video was then posted on Reddit for others to see, and they too were left feeling uneasy. One person had even commented, burn the house down. Ha <laughs> ha, burn it down. This is what he caught. Dan. Watch it, watch it right here. Yeah, look at it, nice. go like this. Liza, hey, right there. Liza, look at it. Hey. See that kid? Hey. See that kid? Liza, go right there. This man proclaims there was no other kid there. I don't know how believable that is. I, I almost feel like there's another kid there.
there appears to be someone or something observing Tony's son. Yeah, Kermit, Kermit, his son saw it, but I feel like he saw it too. I feel like there's really another kid there. But the focus isn't on that kid, it's on this kid. So they're like, hey, let's make it seem as though, like I said in the last video, like only because the people that viewed the video saw that there was some, or his friend saw that there was someone or something in the background, did they make it seem as though, oh, wait, what is this? I didn't know there was something or someone else here. Oh, when real, in all actuality, he knew that there was somebody else there. Done. At first, it seems like this might have been his son's reflection in the mirror. Nah. But after looking closely, the so-called reflection doesn't reflect his movement. And even more unsettling is the fact that you can hear what sounds like a giggling child in the background. Obviously, this didn't come from Tony's son. Now, it could be that this was actually someone who was over at Tony's place, perhaps a relative or a friend of the child. But based on the way that his son reacted upon seeing the supposed child, it seemed like he didn't know who it was. It was as though he was observing a stranger. So, what could this have been? Tony can't come up with an answer, but it seems more than likely that this was the small child Tony had seen before. But what do you think this might have been? An actual child or something else? Onana is home alone with her dog, Jesse. When out of nowhere, Jesse starts acting strange. Onana writes, there's been some weird stuff going on in the house. This is what she caught. All right, I just added two new moderators, but look, y'all gotta work now. I will unmod you in a second if you're not working, baby. You gotta work for your boy, you know what I'm saying? Two new mods in here. That dog hungry, I can hear his belly growl. What's wrong, baby? He hungry, feed him. Come here. Yo, that dog sent something, dog. He sent something. Hey, come here. Shh, come here, baby. Yo, something going on, bro. I would say the dog just tripping, but nah, he ain't tripping. Something happening. Jesse. 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 I need a dog to make sure I ain't got no ghost in my house. Interesting. Jesse appears to be seeing something. Whether or not she was actually sensing a certain presence, specifically that of a ghost, is up for debate. But if there's one thing that remains unquestionable, it's the fact that Jesse had sensed something dangerous. The question is, though, what exactly was she seeing? Viewers seem to think that Jesse was sensing something of a paranormal nature, as is usually the case with most pets. But of course, I'll let you decide if that's the case with Jesse. To this day, Onano cannot make sense of Jesse's strange behavior. 
but viewers seem to know the reason. If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. Gorte Suspina posted the following video. Oh, hey, no, I'm not about to watch these pants run without a body again. Look at them. Look at those pair of pants just running out there. It's crazy. It's crazy. Link to the original will be down in the description box below if y'all want to see a white pair of pants run down the alley all by themselves with no body attached. Very weird. Very weird. Vanessa Boleyn is looking at her doorbell security camera when she notices something that scared the living hell out of her. Vanessa writes, I grew up in a haunted home with paranormal investigators and priests constantly coming to my house, so I don't get that scared easily. But last night, I saw this through my ring camera at 11.30 p.m., and it was the only time that I truly felt scared. This is what she'd seen. Be sure to look closely or you'll miss it. Nope, screw that clip too. Y'all, we made it to the end of the live stream. <laughs> I don't like this clip. It's funky. We've made it to the end of the live stream. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us. We kept it long today. We got 2,700 people back in here. Thank y'all so freaking much. I hope y'all had a fantastic weekend. I hope this is a good start to your week hanging out with your boy tonight. But it's late. It's 12 a.m. It's not even the same day no more for me. It's the very next day. So that means it's time for me to go because I am... Um, past my work shift. I'm past my work shift. We're, we're flowing over to the next day. But anyway, y'all know what time it is. You like this reaction? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, the link to everything we watched tonight will be down in the description box below if you haven't already. Make sure you follow your boy on the gram and Twitter at RDKicks. Xavier, thank you so much for the don't know. I appreciate you. You know your boy be trying to grind it out for y'all. But yeah. Vlog for this weekend um, coming tomorrow. Kamea Khan, y'all be on the lookout for that. I got to edit it and upload it for y'all and so much more. I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that I bought at Kamea Khan. I got some stuff autographed by the voice actors of Dragon Ball Z, Goku, Vegeta, Frieza, uh, Lord Brewers, Trunks. It was, it was dope. It was just an awesome experience. But anyway, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. See ya.